Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us for another Ultimate Creative Chat. I'm Danielle, and today I have with me Shelly Fondren from Flexible Body Massage here in Atlanta, Georgia. Thank you so much for joining us, Shelly. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Um, Shelly is a uh, licensed medical massage um, therapist. Therapist, yes. <laughs> and then it's, my brain just kind of went cold for a moment. But um, we are so very thankful to her for coming and sharing some expertise around um, body massage and the benefits. The main thing we're talking about today is the benefits of doing that, especially as we age. Most of you out there watching our ladies and um, as we get up in age, we need to be able to have that um, mobility. We need to be um, to stay on top of our flexibility. And Shelly and her colleagues are here to do that for us. Um, we just want to get the expertise and see why is it so important to stay on top of that as you know, down through the years. So Shelly, thanks for, for being here and just give us a little background on your, on your professional experience. Sure. Sure. I um, have been a massage therapist for a little more than 17 years now, which sounds ridiculous when I say it out loud. <laughs> Time has flown by pretty quickly. I, uh, my journey started just from me for decades, really having an interest in natural health. Um, stemming from my interest in practice of yoga, just mm. a little bit rusty right now, but uh, was something that I um, adhered to quite a bit once I first started it. I always had an interest in um, natural supplements, um, trying to, you know, adhere to a more natural lifestyle um, mm. rather than the opposite um, as I was growing up. And... Um, I went through traditional models of education. I have my bachelor's degree in communication, something that we share in common, I know. Yes. <laughs> um, and when I graduated, uh, I was prepared to work in sales or being admin assistants and, you know, very um, reputable jobs, but just not really fulfilling for me. And there okay. was a time, um, a couple of years post graduation that I just had sort of an epiphany moment of imagining an ideal um, work environment of me being in a quiet, peaceful, soothing room, uh, much like a massage studio or massage room. At that point, I had never even had a massage, but I knew that that was something I wanted to explore. And mm. having brought that idea to my family at the time, I didn't get the type of support that <laughs> <laughs> I think I would have needed in order to pursue it at that point. Um, so I put it on the back burner for many years, but it never went completely away. And hmm. when I got the opportunity to shift gears out of a sales job that I was not really thriving in, um, I had an opportunity actually to become a nanny, <laughs> which okay. I did, which afforded me the time that I needed to pursue massage therapy school. Um, I had awesome. already picked out my school. In that time, the number of years I had put massage therapy on the back burner. I moved from my hometown of Chicago down to Atlanta, kind of made my, my tribe down here with my friends and family and found the school that I, I wanted to go to and uh, just bit the bullet and decided to do it. And okay. it was one of the best decisions I ever made. And uh, I have not looked back since. Graduated in 2005 and uh, have been working in the field ever since. We'll be right back. Do you own a growing business? Danielle Rosser's clients get the keys to success when it comes to meeting their bottom line. Reach your intended audience with the proper branding, messaging, and storytelling when you partner with Ultimate Creative. So what can Ultimate Creative do for you? Click the link in the description for a consultation and let's get started. Back to the show. Oh, very nice. Okay. So she has got some, some years under her belt when it comes to massage. Um, she's not a novice. She's not new to this, yeah. you know, and uh, she's definitely got some insight to share as far as the benefits um, that we can have from 
getting these massages. So some people think that getting a massage is just about relaxing and just treating your day, your, yourself to a spa day and just having a great time. And I know that is part of it, but what are some real benefits of a uh, medical massage, especially? Yeah, no, it's a good question. Um, nothing against uh, relaxation massage. It is uh, one facet of massage therapy. There's so many different protocols and modalities that are under the umbrella of massage. But for my practice, I typically um, provide integrative um, therapeutic massage. Um, I am trained for um, medical massage, cancer um, clients, uh, or post-cancer, um, medically frail, um, a host of different um, ailments that may fall under that umbrella as well. Uh, but the benefits, uh, I'll speak about for getting massage on a regular basis, because everyone, um, for the most part, could benefit from just getting one massage in their life. It certainly relaxes you, it reduces blood pressure, it increases circulation. Everyone could use relaxation pretty much in their lives. So those things are off the bat. But what my practice focuses on um, mostly is repeat clients who have added massage therapy into their wellness regime. Um, my thought is that it should not be um, an optional thing. You know, um, we walk around with these bodies 24-7, and they're in various states of uh, stress or um, pain, um, things yes. that we oftentimes just learn to live with and um, sweep under the, the rug. I, I like to give that analogy of just we all have this kind of a lumpy rug that we walk over every day, which is filled with the psychosomatic mm. effects that we uh, have learned to just kind of deal with. But yep. typically what happens at some point you hit a wall and um, we as humans tend to deal with our physical ailments more so than we do our mental ailments in my experience. Mm. And our body is very wise and makes it so that you will deal with your mental issues as well. Um, through your physical needs. Um, and by that, I mean that if you happen to be dealing with stress on a chronic level or regularly, uh, if you're not addressing those needs in whatever way suits you best, then it will turn into something that is physical, um, the psychosomatic mm. effects. Uh, and I oftentimes see my clients for the first time when they're at that, oh my God, I woke up and I couldn't move my neck. Well, you probably didn't just wake up that way. Like that is the job right. you kicked in. That's the fight with your spouse. That's the stress tension in the world that we live in. And um, you're clenching your teeth when you're sleeping. You may not be aware of that or addressing that. And so, of course, at some point, you're going to wake up and have issues that are going to settle into you physically. So wow. the benefits of getting massage on a regular basis is what I mentioned before, the reduced stress the increased um, circulation, the um, reduction of blood pressure. Um, it also creates this sense of awareness with your body that you may not be so inclined to address uh, unless you have someone who's there like feeling the issues in your body. It actually can assist with um, helping you to remember things about your body that you probably put some Put under that lumpy rug I talked about before. <laughs> yeah. So you can just deal with life. And when you mm -hmm. have someone who is applying pressure and addressing the tense muscles in your body, it can allow you to say, oh, you know what? I did have an issue with that shoulder. That was 15 years ago, though. I didn't think this was an issue. Well, you know, it's the same shoulder. <laughs> you probably didn't have a shoulder replacement. So it's going to resurface from time to time. Your body probably found a way to protect it and told yourself, okay, don't move it this way because this is going to hurt. So for years, mm -hmm. you didn't move it this way. Well, that creates some sort of lack of motion and um, scar tissue sometimes, uh, uh, things mm. that do not contribute to your overall health. Wow. Gosh, it's just one little thing, but I think that it can be an integral part of you becoming your most optimal well self. Oh, yeah, absolutely. We'll be right back. Do you own a growing business? 
Danielle Ross's clients get the keys to success when it comes to meeting their bottom line. Reach your intended audience with the proper branding, messaging, and storytelling when you partner with Ultimate Creative. So what can Ultimate Creative do for you? Click the link in the description for a consultation and let's get started. Back to the show. Um, tell us a little bit about what types of things we can do in between massages to stay on top of our muscles, you know, being in the state that they should be in. I know you mentioned yoga was kind of your segue into um, massage. Is that something that you recommend? Absolutely. You would think that I'm affiliated with a yoga studio. I'm not. I'm a big <laughs> fan, though, because I've mentioned to many of my clients over the years that there are two things that I have noticed that could keep you from ever really needing a massage. And those are deep breathing and stretching. And those two components are huge uh, in yoga. You cannot do yoga effectively without deep breathing and without stretching and, and or holding um, muscles. Um, okay. So those are two things that I highly recommend. Um, the deep breathing seems like, uh, you know, very sensical thing that everyone, of course, you have to breathe in order to live, but oftentimes we just shallow breathe. We just breathe from our chest, breathe from our neck muscles, not using our diaphragm um, to help us breathe. And by using our diaphragm and having deep belly breaths, you're kind of extending your belly. It's something that women in particular, I think, have a challenge with because we've been taught to suck it in and to always yeah. pull things in, all the things we have in, in, um, in fashion that sinks, cinches our waist. It's not yes. really doing us any favors when it comes to deep breathing. Um, yes. I found that you cannot tense and deep breathe at the same time. So, you know, kind of make a choice. What do you want your body to feel? If you nice. want your body to feel some relief, then deep breathe. Um, and, and, and getting into the habit of doing that takes some time. Any habit will take some time to form, but I've even advised some of my clients to set a timer for every 20 minutes to, at that time, take a deep breath, a deep diaphragmatic breath. Hold for wow. three, four points in, Hold or take a deep breath, take it in in four, two, or four, three, two, one, hold for four, and release in, uh, the breath of four. And okay. just getting into that habit will get you used to doing that on a more regular basis. I think I'm going to try that. I've never yeah, tried gorgeous. doing that. Yeah. I'm going to set, set my timer for 20 minutes. There you okay. go. <laughs> okay. Um, well, where um, can people go to really um, learn more about what they need for their bodies? What, mm -hmm. what um, resources, I guess, could you share with our audience about, mm -hmm. you know, learning more about your body and, and how to recognize things in yourself? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. I, there's tons of stuff available. I'm a big uh, proponent of YouTube. Um, money can oftentimes be a stopping point for a lot of people. You don't have to um, buy lots of services or classes and things in order to get yourself there. Log into YouTube. Um, I've mentioned yoga. Again, I'm not affiliated with any yoga studio, but I suggest even just logging into YouTube and looking up, typing in basic yoga stretches. Um, if you're doing this from the comfort of your own home, then you don't have to push yourself beyond your threshold. Um, start with 10 minutes a day. Um, start 10 minutes in the morning. Do 10 minutes in the evening until you work, work your way up to uh, a point where you're doing more. You're actually stretching your, your muscles and your limbs beyond what you were most used to doing prior to that. Um, and then massage. If you are in the Atlanta area, I'm available for massages. I do sessions from 30 minutes up to two and a half hours, believe it or not. I've got some clients who are sort wow. of gluttonous with massage, but um, <laughs> there are worse things you could be addicted to, right? Right. Uh, so 
those um, that's an option, I, I'd be happy to assist you. Our first session would be actually uh, a more lengthy intake in which I would learn a little bit more about what your repetitive motions are, um, what causes pain, where you hold pain. Um, oftentimes people aren't even really aware, but through repetitive sessions, you start to get to know your body a little bit more. And, mm -hmm. uh, again, you're with yourself 24-7. If you came to see me as a client, that may be one hour a month or every two weeks or so. So there's only so much that I can do to assist you. But if I can help you to increase your awareness of how you're holding stress, how you're holding pain in your body, then we can work together to get you into a, a, a more optimal state of wellness. Awesome. That's good to know. And as I said, uh, she does medical massage. So you have worked with some really, uh, some really nice clients, mm -hmm. <laughs> some, some corporate, you've had some corporate clients um, where you have massaged dancers, dance companies, mm -hmm. you know, and um, athletes as well. So, um, you know, the, this is something that she does, not just for the, the lay person, um, but, you know, for professionals as well in their um, line of work, you know, so that they can do what they need to do every day to, to earn money for their families. So yeah. thank you very much for that. Yeah. Um, yes. So let me see. Is there sometimes money is a barrier, you know, the people yeah. getting massages, they think they, they need to be high income earners or, you know, millionaires. That That's something, you know, especially when it comes to medical massage, that's something special for the celebrities um, and the professional athletes. How do you work to combat that? So it's still uh, something that people can come and see you for. Yeah, that's a good question, too. I, I um I offer um, my sessions at, a, you know, average rates. Um, but as I mentioned before, I do um, have smaller increments. So if you want to start out with just 30 minutes as opposed to jumping into a 90-minute session, that's certainly more affordable. Um, I have um, series um, available so that people can buy a series of six massages at a time which is okay. deeply discounted um, as opposed to buying them one at a time. Um, okay. I also offer um, flex spending pay payments or health spending pay um, okay. payments as well. So if any of your, your viewers are interested and are paying into those through their companies, mm -hmm. then um, they can always use those debit or, or cards to pay for their services. Okay. Um, and I, the reason that is doing, um, sorry to interrupt you, but uh -huh. uh, I do a lot of um, events throughout the city, the metro Atlanta area um, with chair massage. So mm. um, if your company or organization is holding any type of event, wellness is big on site nowadays, offer them um, to HR uh, the opportunity for massage. And I'd be happy to have a conversation to bring my services to your workplace not the same as a table massage, but a, a 10, 15 minute shoulder massage, it goes goes a long, long oh, way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that really does something when you need it. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll be right back. Do you own a growing business? Danielle Rosser's clients get the keys to success when it comes to meeting their bottom line. Reach your intended audience with the proper branding, messaging, and storytelling when you partner with Ultimate Creative. So what can Ultimate Creative do for you? Click the link in the description for a consultation and let's get started. Back to the show. Yeah. And so my reason for asking that was, you know, my audience is a largely black female entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes we have found ourselves being creative with pricing and with the types of offerings that we have for our um, potential clients and, and, you know, customers. So, you know, that's one way uh, ladies out there watching that you can be flexible and allow for um, things to fit more than one type of budget, yeah. you know, and be able to reach um, a broader base 
um, by offering and making yourself accessible mm -hmm. to more than just one um, type of customer. So thank you for sharing that, Shelly. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Just, just by you mentioning that I, I actually would be willing to offer to your viewers a 10% discount for their first time visit. So if they yes. reach out to me, uh, I know you have all my contact information. Make sure yes. that they mention where they saw my um, my interview with you and okay. I to honor that and get them started on their path to wellness. Okay then, you, you all. Path to wellness. Oh, yes. They've already been on this, this trip for a while. Yes, we wanna stay on track. That's Thank right. you, Shelly, for that Absolutely. offer. Sure, sure. So you all heard her 10% off if you mentioned this episode and we appreciate that. You right. know, the our uh, viewers are all over the place and everybody comes to Atlanta That's right. at, at some time or That's another. Right. That's right, when you're here, hit me up. Yes, yes. Well, thank you. Well, do you have any last words that you want to leave with us here? Um, this time, I will have you back again. Um, but <laughs> anything um, this time around? I know we do want to. I would say, um, you know, if this is, if, if you would be new to massage, if you've been hesitant to um, participate in massage because of um, a variety of, of reasons, um, I provide a real safe place um, during our session, and um, they don't call it therapy for nothing. <laughs> Oftentimes, things come out emotionally um, uh, while a client is on the table. Sometimes it can get emotional, and, and crying um, has been known to happen. Um, but you should know that if that does happen, or if that is a concern of yours as to why you may not uh, be ready to make uh, an appointment, Hopefully that won't deter you. Um, it's a very safe place. Everything that happens within our uh, session is private and will help you to get to your optimal wellness. That's that's my goal. And um, having body work, awesome. which massage is kind of underneath that whole umbrella, umbrella of, of body work, um, should be something that you are using to um, get to know your own health and wellness and mm -hmm. to um, get you to where you'd like to be optimally. It's never too late to get started. Um, I've had children as clients. Um, uh, there are student athletes. Uh, the parent can stay in the room if that's a concern um, while I'm doing body work on them. I've had elderly, very elderly clients as well. They need new assistance to get on the table. Um, mm -hmm. You undress to your comfort level. There, uh, I do stretching sessions as well, so if you're not comfortable being comfortable being unclothed you can remain clothed and still receive a form of body work um stretching is goes a long long way too so um okay. it usually can meet the needs of whatever it is that you um, is bringing you to my table Okay. Well, thank you. And I'm glad that you mentioned the elderly patients that you've had or clients that you've had. Um, if you all are listening and you don't think you necessarily have a need for that, maybe you want to gift your session, gift your, um, you know, buy a session for your mom for Mother's Day or for your dad uh, for Father's Day coming up here pretty soon. That's an option, and you, you get a little discount on top of doing something nice for them. <laughs> right. I have a, I do have gift certificates available, so Danielle okay. will provide the booking site, and if you yes. have any questions, then um, you'll also have a way to get in touch with me. Yes, please do look in the description because her uh, the link to her website is there as well as uh, her social media pages. So, and you can see on the screen here as well. You want to go to at flexible uh, body massage on Facebook and Instagram. She is there. So, thank you very much, Shelly. This has been thank wonderful. You too. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. You all keep following us for more and get in touch if you have a need for a communications consultant. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Get in touch today to find out how you can become an Ultimate Creative Chat sponsor.